SMT Nation, what's going on? It's your boy, the SMT. Let's take a look at some Verizon wireless networking updates from some uh, engineering executives over at Big Red. Uh, this is, uh, I think, an article that's coming out of mobileworldlive.com. Uh, big shout out to Nikki T for sharing it with me. And I just wanted to discuss the key topics from what he was describing as the position of what the company wants to do in their networking moving forward. So Chief Network Engineering uh, Executive was speaking at an investor conference. I forget the name of it. Um, there's been a lot of those lately. It's been pretty uh, frequent, actually. Uh, he disclosed Verizon Wireless's aims of what they want to do with their network build as it pertains to C-band. And he did disclose that they were going to be shooting for a 90 million pop goal by the end of December 2021. And he did mention and reaffirm 100 million pops of C-band by Q1 2022. Of course, all this depends on the execution and the early clearance of C-band. Obviously, it's got to be repacked and then satellite companies have to complete that process and then it can be allowed to be broadcasted by Verizon as well as other mobile network operators like AT&T. Uh, he did confirm that it is all going to be Samsung gear and Ericsson gear for the C-band build. They estimated a seven to 8,000 sites being live by the end of this year in the top 46 markets, the PEAs, partial economic areas for Verizon. Uh, C-band sites also have been confirmed to possibly have CBRS in the form of LT upgrades by band 48. So he told us a lot, and we have been seeing macro sites getting millimeter wave, C-band, and also CBRS upgrades all in one entire you know tower climb and upgrade. So if you think about what the network potential is there, you've got LT upgrades with band 48 CBRS, you have millimeter wave upgrades, so for the ultra high capacity needs of densely packed urban areas. And then, you know, obviously C band is going to be a big reason, you know, Verizon is going to become a major player in their home internet services as well as in their capacity for mobility. So you've got all these things happening, and this just reconfirms a couple of things. So the SMT SMT takeaways. Number one, we're getting an increased pace and uh and build for c-band so previously i think the goal was to get 75 million pops at launch by the clearance of the c-band that number has bumped up to i think he said 90 million pops so that's you know by the end of this year i actually personally i think they're going to be beyond that i think based on what i'm seeing it's only june right it's the first week of june and we are seeing people posting pictures we're finding them on Reddit, the people in the community on the Discord server. I myself have already found a C-band site in the CLE. I'll be doing a follow-up video for that, but we're seeing the hardware going up all over the place. Random places in Michigan, random places in Pennsylvania, random places in Iowa. There's no rhyme or reason. It's just happening, and that indicates the scale of the testing and when it's going to be cleared. I think it's going to be happening a lot sooner than most people think, and it's faster even than we know. All right, so there is a pressure for Verizon to want to deploy this as quickly as possible. They have clearly not been bashful about paying the cost to buy the spectrum, build out the networking, and then also encouraging satellite operators to early clear and, and repack all of the spectrum. So I would not be surprised if by the end of this year they exceed the 90 million pop goal and maybe that pushes 100 million pops. And then by Q4 2022, don't be surprised if they exceed that 100 million goal uh, for pops and they find find themselves somewhere around 120 or 130 million pops. I, I'm just saying I would not be surprised, right? Because the pace is important as they try to compete in 5G and they're just able now to get a hold of some mid-band that took a long time to get auctioned. And uh, I don't think they're going to be bashful about building it out. But anyways, it's all going to be benefiting us. It's all going to be helping people that are on AT&T, Verizon, and even T-Mobile customers as well. Everybody benefits from these types of upgrades. Anyways, let me know what you guys think of the pace, this update from Verizon's chief en uh, networking engineering team. Uh, let me know what you think in terms of their goals. Do you think they're modest? Do you think they're you know, a little bit conservative? You know, Do you think they might exceed it? 
I don't know, offer your thoughts and opinions. Go ahead and sound off in the comment section down below. The voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Let's go ahead and hashtag C-Band. If you're a real one and you watched it all the way through, hashtag C-Band. Thanks for watching. Thank you for taking this opportunity to watch the SMT YouTube channel. If you appreciated this video, give it a like and a share to all your favorite social media platforms. Thank you in advance for that. Also, check out some of the links in the description box. We have the SMT Patreon page. We also have the Twitter handle at Sneed Tech. And do check out the audio-only podcast available on all the major podcast platforms. And if you are new and have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and activate the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace.